Google Ads Auction Insights will allow you to get a better understanding of what's happening with your ads versus your competitors. And what I mean by that is specifically how much of the uh, impression share are you gaining? So if you look at auction, well, first of all, you have to select a campaign. So make sure you have a, a campaign selected. And then under ad groups, you should see auction insights. Once you're in auction insights, then you should see something that looks like this, right? If you hover over this little icon here, it actually explains exactly what the auction insights are. So see how you compare to competitors in search, find opportunities to increase your reach. And then in quotes by allocating, by reallocating bidding and budgets. So if you want to know how much of the search impression share you're gaining versus your competitors, which basically just means let's say there's a thousand searches a month in your niche. Let's say it's roofing in Phoenix, Arizona. <clears throat> If that's your niche and there's a thousand searches a month for your keywords that you're targeting, then Google is going to split that up and give different people different percentages of the share of that thousand searches a month and put their ads up and, you know, in front of the search on the search results page so that people can click and become customers and all the rest. So your impression share is the number of impressions you've received divided by the estimated number of impressions you are eligible to receive. Meaning how much, uh, how many times are your ads showing in the search results versus how many times you were eligible to show up in the search results. So how many searches there were <laughs> for the terms that you're targeting. And we can see here, we are at 33% share. So we have the highest percentage share and top of page range is 80%, which means we're at the top of the page on Google 80% of the time. So you know you'll see the ads at the very top, there's like one to four ads at the top. And then sometimes at the bottom of the page, there's another one to three A here, four ads at the bottom. And so some of these companies like this one, they're showing up at the bottom more than like these people are showing up at the top quite a bit, but they're just not getting a lot of impression share in general. So we actually seem like we're, well, it appears that we are getting one of the highest uh, top of page ranges of all. And then there's the, um, well, there's a, there's a whole bunch of different uh, percentages that you can see here, like over overlap. That's how often another advertiser's ad receives an impression in the same auction that your ad also receives an impression. So how similar is the company to yours? more or less, or the other advertiser. And then position above rate is how often another advertiser's ad in the same auction shows in a higher position than yours when both of your ads were shown at the same time. So we can see those numbers here. Of course, we went through top of page range, which is not going to show us the actual how often your ad or the ad of another advertiser, depending on which row you're viewing, was shown at the top of the page in a search result. So yeah, it's basically just how often are you, are you showing up at the very top? And then absolute top of page range. So this the search absolute top impression share rate is the percentage of impressions that are shown as the very first ad above the organic search results. So that's the number one ranked spot essentially. So this company here and this company here is actually outdoing us slightly. But we are one of the top in terms of being number one. And then we do have outranking share too, although it's not giving us data for some of these. But we can see what's going on with some of the competitors. And this is how often your ad ranks higher in the auction than other advertisers' ads. Or if your ad showed when their ad did not. So this, this information is helpful, but it's also sort of just plain Jane. What I like to do is come over here to segments and split this up by time and start looking at different time periods. So we'll switch over here to where you can see it's broken down by week. And now we can see that, you know, about a month ago we had a higher top of page range. It kind of dropped down a little bit. Now it's come back up. And by sorting these through different time ranges, it's helpful to be able to see how this stuff changes over time. So impression share tends to be a chronological thing from my experience. So you want to see where was it and where is it now and where are we going 
that sort of thing. So from here, you can break down your website and see how your impression share has been changing. You can see it dropped around the same time that we lost the top, top of page rate dropped. And then it popped back up, popped back up here. So everything's looking good. And oftentimes, if you're seeing fluctuations with your impression share, it can be because other advertisers have joined onto the network. So that just means you have other competitors who are now running ads. And so your impression share might change. So you might see all of a sudden there's a new competitor that comes up and they're starting to gain a bunch of impression share and yours is dropping. So then you might need to take a look at what they're doing, figure out what they have going on and see how you might need to improve your setup so that you can maintain your impression share and not lose it to one of your competitors. So that's basically it. I mean, there's not too much you can get into with Google ads auction insights. Uh, so I'll leave it at that. But if there is anything that you did have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here and really just see that you know this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth so feel free to reach out you can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you